Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 6. We are back on the server, and a few things I want to do this episode. One is, um, we have an extreme, or, or what at least appears to be, an extreme excess of brine. So I'm going to send some over in that direction, hopefully. Um, and the other thing is, I noticed this, and, and I think it was like this in the last episode. The Silent Gear Salvager got another texture update. Now, it's a little bit buggy, and once again, that's probably just due to me having Optifine and Shaders, so it, it, it's not their fault, right? But the actual block itself looks absolutely awesome. Um, so, I'm thinking we try and give that a shot. I've, I've also bookmarked a bunch of other things up here. Um, different ones. Some of these, as you can see by the tooltip, are works in progress. So, they either have no function, or they have a function, but some things are likely to change. Like these um, different alloys that they're going to be making and stuff. But they also do have some functionality. Like, you can make some high carbon steel. Uh, it says it's a test, so it might not have any features. But you can also make... Um, Tyrion Steel, which appears to be fully implemented, so, you know, th there's some things we can try out. Um, but at the very least, they look really cool, um, and I'm excited to check them out. So, we might actually pick this guy up, and, if it lets me, and move it over here. I've sort of cleared this area. Um, is it is it wrong to put them next to the Tinker's stuff? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, I'm sure they're all friends. This looks pretty cool, though. Um, now, I don't think I have any... Do I have any Silent Gear tools that I can scrap? I, I actually do. Um, you know what? This Iron Spear, I, th I think we've had from, like, day one, so I, I almost don't want to get rid of it. Um, something like this saw, though. Let's chuck it in. I'm I'm going to guess that they'll, they'll be moving textures, so we've chucked it in. Okay, I could be wrong. No, it seems like it's just processing. Now, the reason I suspected that there could have been some sort of uh, 3D texture to it, like, um, animated texture, sorry was the, the previous model for this. So in between what I thought was the original model and this model, there was one that had moving parts. It was like spinning uh, cutting blades. So I thought maybe it would like open up or something. Could happen in the future or it might not. So what do we get? We got some fragments, um, some different things. Okay. Um, do I want to continue with this? You know, we'll come back to that. I'll quickly try and set up this whole system. So I would like the brine. I don't know if I want the brine from here or the brine in the pipe. Um, hmm. I think I want this, Brian. So I'm going to place a tank, like that. And so now this is full of Brian. And then in theory, I can put this other tank, whoop, right here, and configure it. And now we have Brian. Now, this system already has enough Brian, but that's merely because, um, this guy can't keep up, the sulfuric acid. So we're going to have to redo this system as well. And I'm thinking we almost do a similar setup where we use an ender chest. So we have all the processing happening elsewhere. And then we bring the sulfuric acid or the sulfur or whatever back here. I, th I think that'll be the option. But we might do that this episode. We might not. I want to check out more of these um, different different blocks and, and see what they do. Because the material grader has been in here for a while. But I've never really used it. I don't really know what it does. Um, so we need more blaze gold. Which I think is just... Yeah, golden blaze, believe it or not. And I think there's some other recipes that use it. So I'll... I'll get a bit of it. Um, and we also need an advanced upgrade. Okay. So this uses diamond shards and an upgrade base. Diamond shards are just from a piece of diamond, so that's fine. And an upgrade base appears to be stone, planks, and paper. So that seems pretty easy as well. Let's make this. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Let's have a look at this bad boy. This texture I know has changed as well. Let's um place it down here. Looks pretty cool, has has the same weird visual bug that the other one has, um, probably just Optifine again. So it looks like there's some sort of like magnifying glass. These textures look awesome, by the way. Um, and I think they actually incorporate what they're made of. Like um, the material grader, it uses that blaze gold or whatever. It I think this guy has some lapis in him, so I guess maybe that's what that's from. Um, and yeah, just sort of looks how it's meant to, I guess. <laughs> um, some quartz, which I guess is like the glass magnifying thing. Okay, so, judging from the little picture that we see here, if we right-click it, it uses glowstone dust, or blazing dust. It uses different types of catalysts, different types of dust. And you can see they have different tiers, like tier 1, um, tier 2, and I think tier 3. I don't think it went up higher. Um, so, blazing dust or glittery dust? Now, I don't know if we're meant to use those. Like, what is glittery dust? It's from Silent Gear. It costs popped chorus fruit, emerald shards, and nether bananas. Um, hmm, I guess, you know, we'll start out simple with probably just some glowstone, right? 
Just grab a bit of this. And let's test it out on some of the older modium because as you can see, we have quite a lot now. How much is this? Let's, let's see how much we have. This is from the bee that we got um, last episode. Um, two stacks. Or, you know, a stack and a bit. So let me put that away. That's pretty good. Um, so, all the modium ingot, glowstone dust? No. It won't let me put glowstone dust in. Oh, no, it will. Oh, okay. I can't shift click it in. I have to manually click it in. Okay. Um, so, I don't know what's going to happen. So, it's been graded. And it's got grade D. So I assume that's not good, right? <laughs> Do I dare put like a bunch of this stuff in? I, I'm not too sure what I'm looking for. I also don't want to put in all the old modium if there's like a better way to do it. Like maybe if I use the glittering dust, you get a better quality. I don't really know. Um, let's check all these dust then. I, I've got an idea. I'm going to bookmark all of these. And we're going to see what we can make and what we can't make. So I think that's everything. Okay. So there's the glittery dust, which... If we get the emerald shards, it's actually close to being done. Chorus? How much of this do we have? We have a few more fruits. Let's um smelt these up. We might actually be able to try it out. Um, so we should be able to make this now. Yep. You get eight of it as well, which is pretty cool. Eight glittery dust. Greater catalyst tier three. Okay. Glowing dust. This is with a, a hammer, or a prospecting hammer, some glowstone and some quartz. Um, do we really not have a hammer? Um, a prospecting hammer, no. Can I use this? Uh, apparently I can. So there we go. Four of that, sure. Um, glowstone dust, obviously, and blazing dust appears to be glowstone, and blaze gold dust, which is blaze gold, which we have, and that hammer that we just put away. We might have to repair it, but hopefully we can get a little bit. Boom. And then, make this. Boom. We'll probably do four, right? Four of each. And we'll we'll see if, I don't know, if, if the tier actually plays a role in the in the quality that you get back. So we got a bunch of achievements. Do they say anything? No, they just say for obtaining it. No, like, uh, little tips and stuff. Um, okay. So, let's take this one out. Let's take this out. Now, if I put this in my system... Yeah, it stacks differently. Interesting. Okay. All right. All right. I, I feel you. So, for all the modium with the glittery dust. I'll let this process and I'll come back and we'll see what we got. Oh, okay. I was going to come back when they're all done, but we got an SS tier. So, I'm pretty sure that's like the highest tier possible. Then we've gotten a B. So, this apparently is phenomenally better than this. I'm actually looking at some of the um, numbers and they are changing. The armor is a lot better on the SS. Um, the damage goes from 64 to 71. The harvest speed goes from just under 19 to just above 20. Okay. And some other things like the durability change. Okay. Some of the armor toughness. What else did we get? A grade S and a grade D. Okay. So this is what we got, right? Um, the fact that we got a really good one, but the fact that we also got a D makes me think that maybe... It doesn't matter, but I guess we'll find out. I'll do this next one. So what's this? The glowing dust. The tier one catalyzer. A catalyst. Okay, Um. so far, not so good. We've gotten two E grades, which um, I'm pretty sure is the worst of the worst. Um, three of them. Okay. Glowing dust is not what we want to use. It, it, it's possible that the D grade we got before was like the best we're going to get from that. So... That's from the glowing dust. Let's put the glowstone dust in. It's a tier one as well. So I assume we're going to get the same sort of quality. Um, very interesting. All right. Um, with the glowstone dust, I believe it was, we got an E or two E's, a D grade and a B grade. Okay. So, so far, um, the tier three stuff has been significantly better. We got a bunch of S's. And I mean, this is a small sample doing four, but I mean, they're, they're pretty accurate. Like, so, so now we're doing tier two. So I'm expecting... Above D. Like, I'm expecting D to be the lowest possible now. Alrighty. Um, and that's sort of... I, I mean, apart from this E at the end, it was following what I thought we'd get. We, we got an A and an S, and we got a D. But we also got an E. Um, there's a chance that it's random, but I mean, these are all low. These are all low. These ones were a little bit better, and this one was really good. Right? Hmm. I, I mean, also, just by looking at it, like, looking at the difference... Let's have a look at the S... Versus the, the, the SS versus the E, right? Um, 
So you get an entire two levels of harvest speed, like two digits. I, I don't know how you measure it. Um, the attack speed, no wait, the attack damage goes from sixty-two point six two to seventy-one point three. So that's like what eight? Hmm. I, I mean, obviously it's better to do. I just don't know if it's worth it. You know what I mean? Like the tools are already like this would have what an extra three hearts of an extra eight hearts of damage or something is that worth doing all this extra grading maybe um i guess it depends on if you want the best of the best the best possible uh materials and the other problem is you get this you get a bunch of extra bits um all right well anyway let, let's move on to the next one what else do we have so that was the metal uh, the material grader Next, we have the Metal Alloyer, which actually has a function. Um, so, this costs Crimson Steel Iron, or, or Crimson Steel Ingot, sorry. Blackstone and a block of iron. So, Crimson Steel um, is apparently made with Crimson Iron Ingots, Magma Cream, and Blaze Rods. Now, how many of this do I need? Four. Hopefully, we have enough cooked up. We did, apparently. Beautiful. Worst case, we have like 1,000 Crimson Irons, <laughs> so we'll just melt a little bit more. And, I believe we have a B. A crimson iron beast. That's pretty cool. Um, so all we need is the block of iron. Alrighty, and here we go. Met, uh, oh, metal alloyer. And there she is. Looks beautiful. Now, I think the backs of them are pretty like standard. I don't like. I I don't think we need to place them here to look behind. I I mean, you know, there's effort there, but not as much as at the front, right? They're designed to be placed up against something. So here we go. Metal alloyer. And this guy has a pretty cool 3D. Like, you can look inside him, which is pretty cool. Um, actually, you know what? Hmm. I was wondering if maybe you'd be able to actually see them function. Because I, I was looking inside of them the entire time. You know what I mean? So I didn't actually see what happens. Is there, like, an anima animation? No. Not yet, anyway. I, I'm still hopeful. Um, so the Alloyer. What do we need to get this stuff? Um, we need Crimson Steel. Azure Electrum. Crushed a Shulker Shell and Netherite Scrap. So what about this Shulker Shell? Um, Shulker Shell, that's a hard word to say, and a hammer. Do we have Shulker, Shulker Shells? <laughs> do we have Shulker Shells? We do not have Shulker Shells, everybody. <laughs> All right, so I'd have to go in the, into the end if we want to do that. Um, I might do that. Really, we don't have any? All right, well, I think at least we can make this um, carbon steel, which... I don't know... I, I mean, it says that it doesn't really have any function to it, but at least we can see this thing in action and see if there's anything going on. Once again, no visuals, I assume, once again, because it's still work in progress. And, I mean, they don't need to have a visual. It's just, you know, <laughs> wink, wink. It'd look pretty cool if it did. <laughs> I, now, I, I don't know how much effort that takes, like how hard that is to do, um, or if it's even doable. High carbon steel testing it. There we go. We have a... We have a carbon testing it. I don't think you can really do much with it. Um, but it exists. And we've got it. <laughs> nice. Um, the texture, I like it. If it's 3D, chances are I'm going to like it. Um, Recrystallizer. This guy has a function as well. Um, he can make dimeralds, which are diamond and emeralds. Um, and then, I guess, more in the future. Possibly. Don't know what this would be for. I mean, it's a work in progress, but it does have qualities to it. So do you apply this like a little upgrade to a tool? So some of the Silent Gear stuff I, I'm not actually too familiar with. Like if I grab a diamond um, like this and we have a Silent Gear tool in our inventory, what happens? Like <laughs> is this how this happens? No. I should probably read the book. I mean you can use them when you craft the stuff. I just don't know if I don't know if you can add them as like a gem because they show up as a as a material, but then like um where are we? In this guy, oh, it shows up as categories gem. Uh, but maybe it's just the same. I might be looking into it a bit too a bit too much. All right, so this guy actually does need azure electrum ingots, um, which we got to avoid making before, but we have to make them now. Um, and these are with azure silver, and ender pearl and. Gold. So do we have that? Apparently we do. Azure silver. How much of that do we have? We, we don't have too much. So I have to be a little careful. Four ingots. That we can do. Um, that actually used up all of it. I probably should have invested in like some seeds or something. Because I don't even know where we got this stuff. Um, 
Is there an ore? Oh, you get it from the end. Beautiful. You gotta love these textures. Nice. Um, okay. Awesome. The stats, you know, they're pretty good. I mean, compared to all the modium, they don't look that good, but, you know, that, that's not really a fair comparison. What else do we have? Block of gold and then purple blocks, which we might or might not have. We do. Beautiful. Recrystallizer. Here it goes. This guy looks pretty cool. Another beautiful 3D texture. Um, and we just chuck a diamond and an emerald in here to see it do its thing. I think so. Boom, boom. And I guess you can turn this off. So that you can, like, fill it up with the ingredients that you want before turning it on. So you can see, like, oh, this is going to make a dim world. You can, like, try other things. And then once you're ready, turn it on. It'll process. Y you can pretend that there's a cool visual here. Like, whoa, look at that. Also, what's going on back there? Some red rocks. You, you can sort of cheat a little. Oh, brilliant. Oh, a hole down to bedrock. I like it. And here we go. We have ourselves a dimmer world. Beautiful. <laughs> We're going to have a bunch of these, like, uh, work in progress things that have absolutely no function and sit here until the end of time. Um, I assume they'll get updated as the as the uh, mod gets updated. So, next we have a refabricator. Now, this guy doesn't have a recipe, but it appears as though it's going to essentially do what these guys do, but with um, fabric and slime. So, like, um, or, or fiber and slime and cloth. So, like, if you're using string or wool or industrial hemp and stuff, you can probably combine them to make some pretty cool um, alloys, I, I guess. Would you call it alloy? I don't know, I guess compound. Um, Starlight Generator. Now, this guy, it doesn't say it's a work in progress. If I right-click it, it doesn't show the use, but I guess it does something. So, we're going to need a block of blaze gold, which shouldn't be too hard to do. So, a block of blaze gold. Um, and then, is that everything? Do we have the rest of the stuff? No. What are we going to be missing? We're going to be missing polished blackstone. Now, we're not. And now, we can make it. Beautiful. Starlight Charger. Slap this guy down. So, I mean, it's nighttime. The stars are up. Um, I'm expecting some sort of charging to happen. Oh, it is. Okay. Gains charge when exposed to starlight. Now, how does this work? Material Charger. Do I put... No, I don't put a sword in. <laughs> of, of course, I have to try that. Let's grab um, some older modium graded and ungraded. So, I can put this in here. Okay, and then what? <laughs> and then what's meant to happen? How strange. Let's get some glowstone, maybe. Maybe it's similar to the other grader? No? Very interesting. Yeah, I'm going to have to look in the wiki for this one. Okay, so I had a look at the wiki, and you have to build a multi-block. You have to build a multi-block similar to this, but a little bit different. Um... I guess we'll do that behind here. This seems like a good enough area. Now, it needs to be a 7x7. Seven seven, and this guy sits right in the middle. So, we'll do this here. And then, one, two, three. That's where the pills go. And the pills go on the corner. Um, and there's three different tiers. One of them is the Crimson Steel. One of them is the Azura Electrum. And the other is Tyrian Steel. And they've got to be blocks. So, we're probably going to be using the Crimson Steel. So, let's... um, Crimson... Let's get some of this stuff processed. <laughs> Just some of it processed, you know. I'll probably slap this in like the enrichment dude over here. Alrighty, as you can hear, that stuff is processing. I slapped down a little exporter with a stack upgrade to speed this guy along. And we should be able to make a bunch of this now. Um, we're probably going to have to still wait, apparently. I, d I didn't really want to. Um, but as you can see, it's, see, it's happening pretty quickly. Um, we need... How many blocks was it? Four blocks. Of crimson steel. So, we're going to need just a little bit more. But we are close. We are very close. Um, the blaze rods and the magma cream. What, how are we doing on those? Magma cream, I think we're fine on. And blaze rods, we should be more than fine on. Because we have the uh, bee that does all that stuff. Yeah. That is taken care of, one might say. So, here we go. Crimson steel blocks. Beautiful. Then, um, now, I don't know. Does it have to be... Yeah, only the top block matters, because you have to build, like, a little podium for them. Um, so, how do we want to do this? Um, what block do we want to build it out of? I'm not too sure. I guess we can use Darkstone. Does this, like, turn into a polished Darkstone? Yeah. Let's let's use some of this stuff. This will look pretty cool. So, how we want to do this is... One, two, three. One, two, three. This should be the corner block, right? And then we do the same thing over here. So, I guess another way would be doing one, two, and then the third one there. So we do this same pattern, one, two, third block, one, two, third block, beautiful. Then on top, we place down 
Um, different types of blocks. So a block of this will be for tier one. A block of Azure Electrum will be tier two. A block of Tyrion Steel will be tier three, which I, I guess does better whatever it does. Uh, I read and apparently it upgrades um, materials. Like it makes them a lot more powerful. So let's grab some... Uh, what's, what's it called? All the modium. <laughs> How would I forget this? Let's grab... I don't know if I want to do the SS tier. Let's grab the A tier and see how this goes. So, um, actually, you know what? A better example would be to use one that we already have. So, like, we have two S tiers. So, let's upgrade one of the S tiers. So, charge when exposed. I don't know. They said give it up to 15 seconds to register that there's, like, the structure around it. Um, it's got a little bit in it, just under 3,000. Let's put in one of these ingots and see if it does anything. So far, nothing. Um, hopefully, we're going to have to wait until it's night time, I think, before anything really starts happening. Because, I mean, it can hold up to a million and we, we have just under 3,000. I'm sure we need a lot more, especially for, like, upgrading all the modium. I, I suppose we can try something less. Like, let's try an iron ingot. Does this... Will this get upgraded? No, it doesn't appear to be. Let, let, let me read it up a, read up about it a little bit more. Ah, apparently you do need a catalyst. So, we'll grab this. And that should go in this slot now, maybe? No? What, what did it say? Um, ah, oh, no. Apparently this catalyst doesn't work. Apparently, blaze gold. Um, and what are the other two? Azure silver dust and star metal dust. So, blaze gold dust should work. Oh, and it actually says, yeah. Starlight charger catalyst, tier one. Well, we have a tier one starlight charger. This is what this setup is, tier one. So let's slap this in. Oh, it used the charge. It's now down to 160. I I assume this is going to fill up. So I assume the fact that we haven't seen anything means we're going to have to wait a little while for this guy to fill up. So I suppose I'll leave him there. Maybe I'll stand right in the middle and we'll chunk load this. Just to hopefully have it work. Is Are these all in the one chunk? No. Um, hopefully that doesn't matter. A at the very least, this guy will charge up. And then when I walk over here... Um, you know, these will interact. Okay. So, I, I guess we'll leave that. And it's meant to make the material better. The wiki was a little bit confusing about it. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of different things to read. Uh, my understanding is that it makes the material better. You make a weapon and it will be better. That That's my best guess, right? I feel like that makes the most sense. So, we'll see if that's the case, I guess... Maybe not even this episode, unless I cheat and make it nighttime <laughs> automatically. Um, is there any other type of nighttime device we can make? The game also seems to be struggling a little bit for whatever reason. No, I, I can't see anything. Um, okay, we'll check back on that later. I like it though. Um, I could probably build a, a floor around here. A nice little area. I, I do need to do a lot more sorting. Like, um, That's a little bit messy. I think we can clean that up pretty easily. Um, that is messy, but I think it's... Almost intentionally messy. I think we'll uh, just build a box around it and that'll be fine. Um, behind the house, still a little bit messy. <laughs> Definitely could do with some cleaning. This part isn't too bad. Maybe a little bit of a, re a remodel wouldn't be too bad, but this part's definitely messy. The This stuff doesn't even have to be here, but for some reason I'm leaving it there. Um, okay. I would like to look at all the other things that we can look at, so let's see what there is. Um, that was the Starlight Charger. Next is the Metal Press. Which doesn't have a function, but we can still build it. So I guess we can check out what it does. Now, we can still build it, assuming we have Tyrion uh, Steel. Which, if you remember, was made in here with a Zero Electrum and Crushed Shulker. So I can't really make it unless I go get some Shulker. Which could just be me searching the end for, like, hours. Maybe. I I'll see what happens. In fact, I'll probably go in with a Mob Imprisonment tool and try and capture a Shulker so that we can duplicate them. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that. So, metal press, and then gear smithing table doesn't have a recipe. Okay. Um, hmm. I kind of want to go do it then. I want to... Yeah, okay. Um, let's get... What, what am I after? Nothing, really. I'm ju I just go and look for a shulker, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess I will see you guys with hopefully a shulker. Alrighty, I have come across some sort of structure that looks like it could have a shulker in it. We're also getting a bunch of weird things. The ship cannot fly again. The ship that cannot fly again, okay. Uh, I'll take those. The rest of the stuff I don't really need. What's... just white stand? Interesting. The purple blocks is really good. Um, oh! That thing is from a... no. I thought that was like the shot from a shulker. 
But no, it's just the drops, I guess. Okay. <laughs> a little bit on edge, as you can possibly tell. Books and quills, feathers, paper. Interesting. Um, I guess we'll leave it. Um, can I make end rods? Or should I be picking these up? Um, the answer is you can make them. So I'm not going to bother picking them up. Uh, I also, as the map was loading, saw, like, um, under the map, that there's almost like a mine shaft, an abandoned mine shaft, but, like, um, end. An end mine shaft. So, I might have to try and dig down there and see if we encounter it. But I'm also struggling a little bit with performance. Um, what do we get? Magenta stained glass, fireworks. You know what? I'm, I'm on board. I, I like the idea. Um... Some chorus fruits and some obsidian stuff. I, I guess I'll leave it. Oh, here we go. There's an opening over here, and I guess we can head on in now. I, I'll be honest. I don't know if shulkers will spawn. Um, are these endermites? Oh. And, and I'm also lagging a lot. I'm hoping... I'm really hoping that the recording isn't too bad. Like, I'm hoping this doesn't mess it up, but... A shulker's going to spawn down here. Maybe I'll just run around, and I'll, I'll come back when I find a shulker, wherever it may be. Oop, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that is a shulker. There's also a weird ender portal frame, but I am merely here for this guy. Oh, nope, it's a shulker box. I thought it was like a shulker, not a shulker box. Hmm. Interesting. Um, not too sure what to make of this. We're also under attack, of course. Uh, do I want any of this? I don't, I don't really think so. You know what? I completely forgot that I can open my system from here, so I'm going to pick up the shulker boxes. And hopefully maybe I can crush them or something. But it appears as though my quest for shulkers has not yet ended. Alright, I found a forbidden pearl and slimy grass seeds from Tinker's Construct. Ooh, interesting. I guess that's how you can get uh, slime grass on maybe uh, pre-existing worlds. And then what do we have down here? Nothing? Ooh, nope, definitely something. It just took a little while. Um, a bunch of junk? Sure. Uh, maybe I'll... Ooh, end city map. I think that's what I'm after, isn't it? End city? I don't know what the map would do. I guess... Okay. Um, so... <laughs> I need to somehow... Oh, so there's probably more stuff down here, right? One would assume. Yep, I was right. Correct. Um, suspicious to you. I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to pick up some of this other stuff. Maybe we can make something cool with it. Um, don't really care about those, and I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so, here's the map. Um, I'm assuming that I've got to go southeast, right? Okay, yep, yep, yep. So, I, I, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm using my minimap up here. Otherwise, I think I would need a compass, or I think if you press F3, are you able to see? I'm lagging like crazy for whatever reason, probably because of all the world journal or something. Um, yeah, it says facing south. Beautiful. So, I've just got to go this way, and eventually, I'll run into an end city. Oh, quite literally, I just ran into the end city. Beautiful. Um, so, I'm going to do a number of things, one of which is pick up one of these. The other is kill these guys and get all of the loot. Um, and see what else there is, because I'm pretty sure there's chests. And the chests have cool things. Um, they have cool things in vanilla, so I can only imagine that they have even cooler things in modded, right? I feel like that's a safe assumption. Dragon scale, um, some diamond stuff with like multi boot, uh, multi jump and stuff. I'm gonna leave that. Maybe someone else will come across it in the future and they'll want some cool things. Um, maybe I should leave a shulker or two in case someone runs into this place. You know what? That, that's probably the, the nice thing to do. I'm gonna leave that. What is that? That looks sick. Um, okay, I'm gonna ignore the shulkers. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, we've actually gotten something really cool. Um, oh, not the helmet. This guy. Enochian Key. Drops from N City loot chests. Increase efficiency of Canada's usage to 85%. So that'll be for our Woot mob farm, which sounds pretty cool to me. Um, anything up here? Oh, wait. Is that an end ship? Oh, I think end ships can have elytras on them, right? Um, and I do. I needed an elytra for something. There was like a recipe, I think. What's in here? A every inventory opens. It's struggling a bit. Potions of healing? <gasps> elytra. Yes. Oh, struggling. <gasps> Beautiful. And I think... Can't I do something like this? No, it must be a different dragon scale. Let's have a look. There's a recipe that... Yeah, quark dragon scale. Because I, I would love to replace um, this guy with one. You know what I mean? Auto smell? That's pretty cool. Um, 
another dragon scale, some nebulous hearts, more weird scrolls. Don't mind if I do. Actually, you know what? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Um, I'll leave one of these in here, right? I feel like that's fair. Um, hmm. Okay. I in fact, should I destroy this ship so that if someone else comes across it, they don't get their hopes up? Maybe. Or maybe I'll, maybe I'll come... Oh, dragon head! <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Dragon head. Beautiful. Is this used in any recipes in modded? Oh, it actually... I mean, it's used as heads, like as an alternative to a head. But I wonder if... um. Oh, yep. You can extract dragon scales from it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, I like it. Draconic? Ooh. The head of a great beast allows your tool a second ability slot. Awesome. So it's a modifier for Tinkers. Can I right-click on this and see all the other modifiers? Ooh, I can. Ooh, that is brilliant. Oh my god. 22 pages of this. Oh my god. Okay, okay, let, let me get back to, back to the real world. Actually, wait, wait. I'm not smart. Can I slash back? I can. Here's what I'm going to do. Because I keep forgetting that I have this awesome feature. I can open up my, my inventory. Which means I can... Grab the Quark Dragon Scale. Boom, boom, boom. And replace this Elytra with another one. Um, Quark. No. Why did I search that? Dragon Scale. Everything's so laggy. I I don't know what's happened. I, apparently, I've been playing for too long. Quark Dragon Scale. Here we go. Oh. Do this. Boom. What are the Dragon Scales also used for? Like, that's all it's used for. I'm just going to make all of these Elytras. And leave them here for, for people. I'll leave, I'll leave one in there, and I'll leave one on here, and, because I think they are used in recipes, so I probably don't want to, like, I probably need some for myself, like, yeah, use them for diamond ring, that's probably all I'll do, nice, okay, I'm happy, <laughs> now I can go home, alrighty, so, crushed shulker shells, we can grab from here, um, I'll grab them all, because we, we have the, the thing to get more of them, then I'm going to need some nether scrap. In fact, I think I can just click this, right? Nether scrap. Hmm. You know what? I also need to get um, the azure silver, which I don't have any more of, which means I'll have to go mine in the nether. So I'm probably just going to wrap this episode up. Oh, look, the bar is actually... It's getting there. Okay. Hopefully in the next episode then, we'll have this done. Um, I'm, I don't know. I probably won't mine any azure stuff off camera, but azure... Silver? Do we have any? No. Um, hmm. But we'll probably go mining for it in another episode. I, I might make, like, is there an Azura site? It doesn't look like there is, but I don't know. I'm sure we'll find some. Um, so, yeah. I'm a big fan of these, mul uh, not multiplex, these are 3D structures. I like the idea of a nice little altar. There's a lot of mods that have these weird altar setups. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think, I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's pretty much it. So, so, essentially, Silent Gear is like Tinkers, but different. <laughs> um, that, that's, that's, yeah, that's basically my, my explanation. Um, is there anything else that I need to say? I don't, I, don't, I don't really think so. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing. It helps me out quite a lot. If you want to become a channel member, check out that button. It's um, next to the subscribe button. Um, and that's probably it. If you want to join the server, check out the Discord in the link in the, in the description below. And I'll see you guys, hopefully in the next one. Goodbye.